Okay, so according to you guys, having someone's mouth pressed against the trombone will make it a sealed system. Expanding gases from the explosion will no longer be able to escape through the mouthpiece. They'll have nowhere to go but through that slide. Right, you asked for it. Adam and Jamie are going to take it again from the top. Look at all those trumpets. Did you play the trumpet? No. Aren't you a bugler in the Civil War? Once again, the guys go trawling for trombones. Wow. Second hand, of course. They're perfect. They also need some mouthpieces. <laughs> and some mutes. Unfortunately, this is the last note this trombone will ever play. Oh, trust Adam to turn a trombone into an instrument of torture. Question is, will they still be able to blow their own trumpet when this revisit's done? Finger in a barrel. I knew we were going to have to revisit this one. That's the one where a gun barrel can explode into a banana peel, just like in the cartoons. This one's well worth a revisit, if only so we can catch up with our friends, the Myth Tunes. They're a gun barrel of laughs. When our familiar foes come face to face, there's plenty of animated animosity. But instead of saying his prayers, our cheeky red-haired rodent forces his finger into the barrel, and the hunter's best laid plans backfire big time. The Mythbusters tried to get the same result in real life. They took modern rifles and plugged ballistics gel fingers into the barrels. One. The bullets won, uh, hands down. Look at the very tip I'll of the barrel. Darned. And while they got one or two bulges in their barrels, nothing could trigger that famous cartoon one. banana peel. I don't want to count our chickens before they hatch, but I think we may end up revisiting this one. Well, Adam, those chickens have now hatched, and they're coming home to roost. Since busting the myth, fans have been firing a volley of suggestions. First, we should try this. It's an older gun with a Damascus barrel. And what is that? Well, up until the 20th century, they were making Damascus barrels, and that's where they would take alternate strips of steel and iron, twist it around a rod, and then weld it together. So it wasn't one piece of metal. Okay, so let's get that straight. A Damascus barrel was made by taking strips of iron and steel and welding them together. According to fans, those weld points weaken the structure. And if the barrel is blocked, they'll give us our cartoon peel back. Well, it looks like I need to go dig out the hand molds that we used last time. And I'll work on a remote trigger because if this does indeed work, it could very well explode. While the guys get to work, let's revisit the science behind this cartoon caper. Pull the trigger of a gun, and there's a small explosion. The expanding gases propel the bullet through and out the barrel. Lock the barrel, however, and the gas has nowhere to escape. The pressure builds, and gun ruptures. Some fans might rupture, too, when they see what the Mythbusters are going to do with this collector's item. Boy. You better marry my daughter. This 10-gauge shotgun had both barrels fashioned Damascus style. This one was made in 1877, so it's an antique. And we're going to destroy it. Grant mounts the shotgun on Jamie's special rifle rig and wires up a remote trigger. We have a radio control system that transmits a wireless signal to the receiver. The receiver sends a control signal to the servo. It's going to turn the head of the servo, which pulls a string. The string goes around the trigger and is captured on the other side by a hose clamp. And then that fires the gun. Three, two, one. There you go. Meanwhile, you got to hand it to Carrie. She's got hand making down pat. So here we have a ballistics gel hand with a skeleton cast inside. It's been sitting up overnight, and the nervous part is over because it came out of the mold and looks all right. 